Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about object methods. Now we've been using object methods already even though we didn't know it. A method is simply a function that's attached to an object. That's all it is. It is a function attached to an object. So as I said we've already been using these. The for each is a method that's attached to all arrays. The map is a method that's attached to all arrays. Console.log is a method. Log is the method and it's attached to the console object. So we've already used these a bunch. Just to reiterate, a method is nothing but a function that's a property of an object. One thing that's important to note, object methods are one of the very few places you'll want to use the old function definition. You'll On the object method when we make them, you're going to want to use the old function definition, you are not going to want to use arrow functions. The reason for this is because if you use an arrow function, it doesn't keep the correct this binding, um, and we'll talk about that later. So to give you an example, let's go back to my dog. Const dog is an object. Name is max. Age is one. And now let's make a method, speak. And instead of just giving it a, a value, we're going to give it a function. And what this function is going to do is it's going to console.log woof woof. Now I have dog. You'll see here is age is one, name is max, speak is a function. And it says arguments null and it gives you all kinds of information about it. So in order to call that it's just like you would think. Dog.speak with the parentheses woof woof. And that's all there is to it, really. I mean, as far as, as far as methods go, you can add them just like that. Now, the next question that a lot of people ask is, why would we want to do that? Why don't we just define them like a normal function in the global namespace, that way, or even inside of a functional namespace? That way, we could use the easier, quicker, better arrow function um, syntax. We wouldn't need to, to attach them to an object. We could just declare them out. Why would we want to? There's a couple reasons. One of them is for organization. Now you can keep your code better organized and keep things attached to the right thing and in the right place, but also it allows you to avoid namespace collisions. So I've already got dog with speak. Let's say I had another object, cat equals, or const cat, sorry, const cat equals name Lucifer age one Virgilian speak. Now, function, oops, console.log, this is a cat, so I will devour your soul. Now, if I were to declare both of these in the global namespace, function speak, I would run into trouble because they both do different things. However, because I've created them as methods and attached them to objects, I can now call dog.speak, woof woof, and cat.speak. There's no problem at all. This is used a lot of times with JavaScript libraries. For example, Lodash is a popular one. Um, basically what Lodash does is it creates a whole lot of useful like utility functions and then attaches them to an object that's named underscore. That's why it's called Lodash. So, for example, you've got all kinds of cool stuff. Um, join, pull all with. You've got all kinds of sorted unique functions. All kinds of cool, wonderful kind of utility functions. You know, they got collections. They've got date stuff. They've got regular functions. They've got any functions. They've got lang functions. They've got math. They've got numbers. They've got, they got all kinds of stuff. But all of them, if you'll notice, are attached to this underscore. So really what Lodash does is it creates a massive object that's named underscore and attaches a crap ton of methods to it. And anytime you want to use those, you just put underscore dot whatever it's called. Now we're not going to get into Lodash. We're not really going to learn about it in this class because we simply don't have time. But I recommend you check it out on your own. If you're going to be doing much with JavaScript, it's a pretty cool um, utility function if you need if you need it. A lot of times it's overkill for different things, but it can help in a lot of different difficult situations. So as I mentioned earlier, you don't want to use arrow functions for object methods because it breaks the this binding. 
Now, there are lots of issues with the, this keyword in JavaScript to the point that it's often the subject of a lot of interview questions for advanced positions. So we're going to kind of scratch the surface of the this keyword now, but this is, as I said, just scratching the surface. Whenever you use this inside of an object method, it refers to the owner object. To give you an example, const person equals an object. We'll say the name is Josh, age is 34, and then we'll add a method, say hi. Now if I do use function, like I'm supposed to, inside of here we might console.log hi I'm and then we want to add name right here this right here we can't just put name this will not work instead you have to put this dot name plus and I'm plus this dot age years old what this does right here is it refers to the person that you are creating. Right now person is an object, the name is Josh, the age is 34, and then say hi will refer to those things. So now if I call person.sayHi and call it as a function, hi I'm Josh and I'm 34 years old. That's all hunky-dory works well. That's how you use this in object methods. Now let's try that with an arrow function, const other person. Name equals Jacob, age equals two. Say hi is instead of it, we're going to use an error function. I'm just going to copy this. And that seems like it worked fine. But then I call this hi, I'm undefined, hi, I'm blank, and I'm undefined years old. It doesn't work. It breaks the this binding whenever you use an arrow function. And that's by design. That's on purpose. There's a lot of technical reasons to it. I mean, it's supposed to do it. It's working like it's supposed to. That's why whenever you're creating an object and you want to add a method to it, you have to use the old school function syntax. And right now this seems kind of, again, esoteric. That why It's not really very real world. So let's give a real world example. Const posts equals user me data is going to be good, bad, ugly. These are the posts that I made on other people's pages. And then the print might be a function. This dot data dot for each. So for each comment. I'm going to console.log a comment. Now some of you might be thinking, hey, you're not supposed to use an arrow function. I'm not. The method is the old school function. Inside I can use anything I want. But the method has to be the old school function. So now I've got this posts, so let's call posts.print. And it, com it console.logs all my stuff. So this is one example of, how, of a function that might be on like a Facebook post type thing. Obviously you wouldn't con log it to the console, you would build a Facebook card or something with it. But this is an example of a method, because that way you only have to write this function one time and you can apply it to every single user account. That way your code is very dry. So this is another example of why you might use a method in the real world. Now I want to just reiterate, we are only scratching the surface of the this keyword, okay? We are barely, barely brushing it. In this context, whenever it's defined as an object method, this refers to the object that has been created, okay? Whenever it's an object method, not a class method, but an object method, this, the keyword, refers to that specific object. So you can call this.user and it will return the data. This dot data returns that data. Okay? So it's very important that you realize that's only for object methods. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be happy to help. Thanks. Mm -hmm.